my channel so today's video is going to be a week in my life at real life school i haven't done a week in my life vlog where i've been at school in real life for quite a while so i thought it's time to do another one i have a pretty busy week of exams this week i am doing core maths as level meaning that i only do um the core maths course for one year which is this year and i've nearly finished it and so i've got quite a lot of assessments and small exam questions going on throughout this entire week tomorrow we're doing a past paper and then throughout the rest of the lessons this week which is every day except for tuesday we are going to be doing like one or two questions in the lessons and um, which are all going to count towards our grade because obviously we can't do one big exam because of covid restrictions so we have to do lots of assessments and stuff um, so the teachers have evidence to give us our grades. So that's what I'm going to be doing this week. And then Tuesday I have an RS assessment which is a 40 mark question and it's going to be timed and I've got to prepare for that. Tonight is Sunday by the way and it's Sunday evening, it's just gone 9 o'clock. And I'm going to get ready for bed. Me and my mum just watched episode 4, I think, of High School Musical, the musical, the series. This is our second time watching it. We watched it last year, um, but we were like, let's watch it again because I'm low-key obsessed with it. I need to get ready for bed. I'm going to put my pyjamas on and I probably should do a little bit more revision for RS. However, I do have a free period tomorrow and I could also do a little bit more preparation tomorrow evening. That's my plan anyways. I did quite a bit of maths revision today with my friend Vivian over FaceTime so that was really nice just to do it with somebody and just to get some revision done so I feel a little bit more confident for this week and I did also do some RS um, preparation and I've done you know quite a fair amount but I am nowhere near finished preparing for it at all so I'm gonna have to spend quite a lot of tomorrow doing that but yeah overall I'm hoping this week is gonna be pretty good despite all of the exams and chaos going on final thing I have to say I also have an exam for drama not this week but next Thursday I have my official drama exam um, it's it's obviously not a whole grade but it's just like a percentage of the overall A level grade. I want to say it's like 30% or something or it might even be less than that, I, I'm not, I can't remember. Um, but it's we're going to be recording it and sending it off to the examiners and I'm so nervous about that. So I've got so many exams and so many busy things happening so I thought you know what I'm going to vlog it. Um, I haven't vlogged in a while, especially not at school, and we're going to try and vlog quite a lot in school as well as outside and after school and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and without further ado, I've rambled on for a full, like, two or three minutes. So without further ado, let's get into the video. By the way, prepare for this video to be chatty, relaxed, but also extremely long. <laughs> I read this thing today on Pinterest, and it was saying about like what would happen have you ever thought about what would happen if you did everything to your fullest fullest potential and of course i try and do things to my fullest potential you know a lot of the time but there is a lot of time as well where i'm kind of like oh i don't feel like doing this right now like i'm gonna put this off till another time um which i kind of feel bad because i feel like i'm doing that right now i'm like oh i'll do my rest in the morning rather than doing it right now but it basically had a list of loads of tips for what to do in the morning what to do in the afternoon what to do in the evenings to help you to live your life to the fullest potential and do everything to the best of your ability and it could really really benefit you so i'm going to try and kind of incorporate a few of those things this week so we'll take a look at some of those things in the morning and i'll speak to you then good night good morning i know i'm super backlit right now so just ignore that but i have got my crunchy nut cereal and i also have a banana and then i also have a glass of water um which i do often have a glass of water nowadays in the mornings but i usually go and get it after i've eaten my cereal like i don't usually have it with it um and same with a banana like sometimes i do have a banana in the mornings but it's usually just before i'm about to head to school or something but this morning's going pretty well so far. I've made my bed. I I'm eating my breakfast. That's pretty much it. Oh no, and I made a to-do list as well. So I made like a massive to-do list for this morning, which sounds intimidating, but it's not. Like it's I've really broken every single thing down. Um so I'm ready for today. I'm pretty tired, I'm not gonna lie. Do you wanna go back to bed? But I'm not going to. I'm determined today's gonna be a good day. 
I'm about to head downstairs. My hair is done. I've twisted the front bits back. And then I've got on my new Primark bodysuit, which I absolutely love. I even managed to do my stretching this morning, which never happens in the mornings. Like I never make time for it, but I've been wanting to practice my stretching a lot, mainly just to be more flexible. And I'm trying to learn how to do the splits because just in case I do end up going to drama school, which I would love to go. Um, and I'm just, you know, considering different career options and stuff um i would love to be a little bit more flexible for dancing and things like that and i'm not flexible at all at the minute however i've improved quite a lot since i've been doing stretching so i'm pretty pleased with that so i did an eight minute split stretching warm-up sort of thing and i'm pleased i made time for it so i'm gonna head to school now let's go okay it is monday evening i didn't vlog at school today just because i did think about it once and then i was like mm, i'm not sure but i'm gonna try and vlog um a lot more throughout the rest of the week but i've got to finish doing my rs for the thing tomorrow i had my singing lesson earlier um and i had um the core maths assessment today and then we're finishing it in wednesday's lesson no, i don't think i have a almost tomorrow no finishing on wednesday's lesson but i've got time to revise for that i've got a free first period on wednesday i've got a study last period tomorrow and i've got after school so i've got loads of time to revise for commerce but i've got to focus on this rs and i've got absolutely zero motivation to do it right now like i just i'm so tired i just want to go to bed like obviously i got up super early this morning i got up at six which was really really early for me i normally get up at well i normally get up at half six or quarter to seven so not that much earlier but it did feel quite a lot earlier so i'm so tired i just want to go to bed and one of the worst feelings is knowing that your bed's right there and you you really can't get in it because you've got to get on with your work and yes i could go to bed now um because it's currently half nine i could go to bed now and then get up early again and do in the morning but like when i did that obviously this morning like i did not feel like doing any work at all this morning so i think i just need to do it now but i just cannot oh i just don't know what to do because i'm so tired Okay, I have finished school and I'm just waiting for my mum to pick me up. So yeah, it was a good day. I've literally just got home. So obviously I was speaking to you guys earlier, but I kind of didn't finish what I was saying. I was trying to say that I did my RSS today. The teacher wasn't there, but we just did the essay anyway because we knew we were supposed to be doing that in the lesson. So did that and that was all cool. And I'm just glad I've got that RSS essay out of the way now. And um, I'm about to call my friend Vivian and we're gonna revise together. Um, we just seem to revise really, really well together. Like we just, it just works. So we're gonna call each other revise for core maths. And um, we're gonna revise two topics, but we'll probably only be like half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm home a little bit later than I normally would be. I've got home and it is almost quarter to six. But basically we stopped at my grandparents' house and that was really, really lovely. I'm already for bed. I've got my retainers in, I've got my pyjamas on. So I'm gonna head to bed in a second. I just need to take my hair out and take my jewelry out. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, I did manage to speak to Vivian earlier. We did some revision for like 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that. And then she had to go for a dinner. But then I've just watched a film with Megan and Owen, but we watched half of it. We're gonna watch the other half tomorrow night it's been a really good evening i also managed to watch olivia rodrigo singing on the brits and i also watched Liz wicks receive their reward for best british group so i'll speak to you in the morning and then i'm going to try and vlog more at school tomorrow i'm sorry i still didn't vlog went up whilst i was actually at school today but tomorrow i have like loads of freeze and stuff and obviously i have study so i'll probably vlog in study and stuff so So, we're outside eating lunch and I literally was about to sit on the bench. So, there's an ant's nest on there, right? Yesterday, I did an essay, RSSA, and I an ant called on my work. I thought nothing of it until another one came along and I thought, oh, that's a bit weird. I thought maybe when I sat outside yesterday, like, the one crawled up my leg or something. No. They must have been in my trousers. No, I had a skirt on. In my skirt. It could have been in my tights on my jacket whatever i didn't even know and then they went all over my work i could have had a whole ant's nest on me i'm actually in shock like i'll insert now the video of the ants <laughs> there are hundreds of them 
and a lot of them were on me. Who knows where they went? They could have gone in my underwear. <laughs> well, anyways, I have a message. <laughs> Look before you sit. <laughs> Don't sit on any ants nests, all right? Especially if they're red ants, that's actually serious. Um, so I'm, we're back. Well, Olivia's already eating. I'm about to eat my lunch. I didn't haven't eaten any. Normally I eat like half a break, but we had Olivia's cake for lunch. We're just waiting for Megan to come back. She basically walks to another school um, for her music lessons and then she comes back. Uh, but she'll be back like halfway through lunch. Then I'm going to revise for maths with Vivian. And then, oh, and then I have double study this afternoon. And me um, and Megan are gonna watch something. I have double games. Yep. So, speak to you later. I have finished school, I'm just walking to work. I haven't been to work at all this week until tonight. <sighs> it's Thursday, by the way. How much have spoken to you yet this today? Yeah, it's been quite a nice weather. Even though it looks like it's gonna rain, it looks very cloudy now. Hoping it doesn't because, you know, we like the warm weather. I will speak to you all a little bit later on, probably when I finish work, to be honest. Um, and I'll speak to you when I get home. I am finally home. It is seven o'clock, just gone seven o'clock and I am going to put my pyjamas on. My dinner is ready. I don't even know if I've spoken about this, but basically I've applied to be a prefect and the meeting like interview thing is tomorrow. We already had a group observation task and then tomorrow in private study, we have got a like individual interview and I'm actually so, so nervous because also me and Megan are rehearsing for our drama exam, which is next week. We're rehearsing that tomorrow afternoon. And we were planning to go into private study, but we're gonna have to finish earlier now because I've got to go for the interview. So yeah, that's the plan. I think that's all I have to update you on for now, but I'll speak to you probably after I've had my dinner or when I'm doing something a little bit more exciting. Hello, today is Friday. It's been such a fabulous day today. After this clip, I'm going to insert some footage from today at school um, when me and Megan were doing some rehearsing for our drama piece and uh, just some extra info on all of that stuff. As I said, today has been a fabulous day. I found out some good news. It's just been an overall fab day. So my video has literally just come up with the thing saying that my video was exported to my camera roll so now I can upload that onto YouTube and I'm trying to get it up for seven it's currently six o'clock so hopefully it'll upload in time but honestly who knows um, and it is a vlog of me going to do my driving theory test and then kind of like tips and tricks on how I passed and stuff like that so I'm really, really excited to get that up because I did that test quite a few weeks ago I think it was like three weeks ago or something so I do want to get that up ASAP and obviously today is Friday Okay then, my intro is just playing. <laughs> also, as well as that, I did a rehearsal after school. Well, it was in school time, so it was basically from lunchtime onwards till the end of the day. I rehearsed with Megan and we rehearsed for our drama exam, which is next Thursday, which I feel like I've said quite a lot of times in this vlog. So we rehearsed for that and it all went really, really well, which I'm so pleased about because we were getting a bit worried. We weren't feeling very confident with our piece um, and now we feel really great and we're so excited. And we actually enjoyed performing it. And I feel like this is the first time we have done a run through or a rehearsal and we've actually thought, okay, I really enjoyed doing that, I absolutely loved it. It was just me and Megan in the studio, so it was amazing, and it was just, mm, it was the best thing. Then, of course, I had my maths exam, which I spoke to you about yesterday, I think. I had that today. We basically were finishing off a past paper that we started on Monday. We were finishing that off in today's lesson. It didn't go like the best I've ever done because I didn't get the last question finished, and it was like eight marks or something, no, nine marks. Um, and he was like, you have nine minutes left. And I was like, oh my goodness, I'm never gonna finish this. And I didn't, unfortunately, but it's not the end the world i'm still pleased with hopefully how the rest of it went and then just to top the whole thing off i went and saw my head of year today and i am a school prefect oh my gosh <laughs> i'm so excited i really really thought that they were going to tell me i wasn't um just because i was like i don't know just when i went in i got the vibe that i hadn't got it which obviously I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason, so I wasn't going to be like distraught if I hadn't got it. Um, but obviously, I'm so so pleased I have. Like, I, my gosh, I just feel so grateful. Um, and they also asked me. On top of that, I did apply to be head student slash deputy head student as well, um, and they've asked me to go on to the next uh, step to apply and sort of go for the role of head student and deputy head student. So. That's kind of insane. Um, so I've got to make a video for that um, to basically apply for that. I'm over the moon. So <laughs> thanks so much teachers if you're watching this. I'm so 
wow i'm just in shock that i i'm a school prefect and i'm just so excited ah! right so anyways the reason i'm in my dressing gown and it's only seven o'clock is because i'm about to have a bath and i'm gonna just have a nice relax just to end off this brilliant day so i'm gonna you know shave my legs have a nice relax i've got a super bad backache from um the rehearsals because i've been like rolling around on the floor and and i've got a super sore throat as well because i've been screaming um in the piece it's just yeah it's a very very uh, physically demanding piece and so I'm a bit exhausted from that and all the excitement that's happened today so I'm just gonna have a super relaxing bath which is so nice because I don't have a bath, bath very often and it always feels like a real nice treat to have a bath and just properly relax. That is all I have to say for now so enjoy these clips from today. So I have had my bath, I really hope you enjoyed the clips from today. I have got my hair plaited, my mum plaited it as well so it'll be nice and curly tomorrow. I'm going to make a to-do list later of things I need to get done this evening and that's pretty much all I have to update you on. However, I do have one final thing to show you which is pretty exciting. So I have a package here from Tati Jewels. Now I'm friends with them on Instagram, they sell jewellery necklaces earrings etc and i've been meaning to buy some earrings from them for so long i've had my eye on a pair for absolutely ages and just never got around to getting them so i finally got them they've also sent me some free products which i'm going to be showing you in this video so thank you so much for gifting me these products i do not know what's going to be inside yet obviously i know the pair of earrings that i bought but i don't know what the free items are and i'm so excited as many of you know i am starting my own jewelry business very very soon but i do want to be supporting other small businesses as well because obviously you know we're all in this together like i absolutely love supporting other small businesses i know how much hard work goes into it the amount of work that i've put into mine i has been a lot and so i know that how hard these people work and um, with their businesses and i just want to support as many as i can obviously i can't afford to buy from tons and tons of businesses but i will do my best to you know show you um my favorite small businesses show you what i've bought from them and i encourage you to buy from small businesses too so let's open this up because i'm super super excited i've got this really cute sticker on here so i have this little uh, piece of card here that says thank you for ordering from my small business use the code and then my code for 10 percent off uh, your next order so thank you so much for the discount code and then these are the earrings i ordered for myself oh my goodness these are absolutely gorgeous <gasps> wow okay let me take it out of the plastic so that it's not reflecting and that you can see them a little bit better i absolutely love these oh my goodness so they are little hearts with they're clear hearts with gold specks in them and i've also got a little chocolate so thank you so much for that i'll eat that later and then i have got some little red gummy bear earrings omg absolutely love those they're so cute and they look so much like real gummy bears and then we have this little diamond gem in here should we open this up i definitely recommend um tatty jewels the service was amazing and the products are also so cute so affordable and just absolutely gorgeous so definitely recommend um here is the little gem it's so cute i have like a little tray that i keep my crystals in and things like that so i'm probably gonna put this with my crystals look at that oh my goodness that is so cool i absolutely love it um so yeah well maybe i'll put it on here i don't know really nice and then yeah gummy bear earrings and then these earrings. So I'll put these in in a little bit and show you what they look like. Today's Saturday and it's currently quarter past 10. I'm about to get ready for the day. I've got such a sore throat. It was super bad yesterday and I thought, oh, hopefully, it's usually one of those things that I go to sleep and then the next day it's fine. No, my throat is absolutely it's so painful i think this is from the screaming yesterday i'm like 90 percent sure this is from the screaming yesterday however my sister has had a cold this week and i feel like it could be the cold as well i don't know but anyways i'm gonna get ready and i'll speak to you guys in a bit when i've got the earrings in and show you what they look like i have got the gummy bear earrings in this is what they look like so adorable look so cute oh, 
they don't particularly go with the outfit I've got on however the other pair will go perfectly with this outfit and here are these ones they match this outfit perfectly love them I think they look so pretty so thank you so much for making these earrings tatty jewels I absolutely love them and also thank you for gifting me the other pairs as well and the little diamond absolutely adorable and I love them all so today I've spent time with my dad, my stepmom, my brother and my sister and it's been so nice. Me and Layla did some TikToks, took some Instagram photos, so go and check all of those out. I think I'm going to get ready for bed now, sit in bed, write a to-do list for tomorrow, um, write my diary, write my manifestation diary, just have a really nice chill time before I go to bed and just have some time where I'm not on my phone and relax.